Hello, I hope you're well. I hope you're safe and sound. My name's Adrian. I'm a sit and principal here at the Sixth Form College Colchester. And what I'm going to do is just give you a quick look round the college so we get a sense of what it's like. Normally, we'd have some fantastic student ambassadors to show you around, but we're not able to do that in, in these times of, of coronavirus and lockdown. So hopefully, you know, this will give you just a little taste of uh, what life as college is like and so on and what the buildings are like. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to be on every slide. I'm just saying hello in the first one and then we'll go from there. Right, here's an outside view of the college. A lot of you will probably recognise from, from driving around Colchester. So the Romans built this bit here. This is the northwest corner of the wall. And the original part of the site is this building here, which for a long time, many of you may well be aware, was the Gilbert School. And then over the years, the college um, has built a number of these buildings down the hill. Uh, and so we have the site that we've got today. Um, a view of the college that you probably won't be familiar with is this one. This is us from the air. And so if you come down North Hill and everybody comes through the entrances of entrance level North Hill and you come up the drive and then all of these buildings round here, that's uh, all us. So you know, right around the AstroTurf pitch here and so on. And so it's a it's a big site. In in many ways, it's like a, a small university. Um, and all of that is devoted to the delivery of, of A-level and associated courses. And so a lot of purpose-built buildings there, entirely focused on working with people, 16 to 19, A-level and, 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 and similar courses. So as we come up the drive, the first building we have on our left is this one here. It's got a rather unusual name. It's called the Cock and Pie building and it's uh, where we deliver a lot of our psychology courses so extremely popular course for us if you come you do psychology chances are at least some of your teaching will be in there as i said it's a big sign and so there are elements of it that the first time you came you you might not even notice if you look if you look just past the cock and pie building and you go up this staircase here and then you go around here and over what's almost like a little bridge over a wall you come to this area here, this is number 58. This is our learning support centre. So and lots of people will come down here, for example, to do some one to one work or some, some individual support with with elements, with skills, with with all sorts of things. Um, the other thing that number 58 does is it provides a, somewhere quiet. The college is a big place and, and, that, and that, that's part of the appeal. You know, it's, there's a lot going on. But sometimes if people feel, oh, maybe I'll just step back from that for five minutes and so on. Number 58 is maybe, you know, one of the places to go. Next up the drive is this huge building, which is devoted to our uh, performing arts courses. And so, for example, in there, you'll find recording studios and rehearsal spaces and so on. Um, you'll also find on the top floor one of our large performance spaces. And so students who are involved in, in, in performing arts, drama, dance and so on will, I'm sure, get involved in productions there. So as you come up the drive, one of the doors you go past on the left there is the entrance to the purpose-built um, rehearsal spaces for courses such as drama and also for dance. We then come to the main college reception area. Um, this is this is where I live. My office is just is on the right in there. And, um, and at the moment, it's very quiet. We're we're dealing with the effects of, of, of coronavirus and all the effects that, that that's had on everyone and education and so on. Um, and it's important for us to to think about that. We want everyone back. We want everyone back safely. We're going to work really hard over the next couple of months uh, with people to ensure that Everything we do, we do safely, but we want to bring as much of the college experience that you're looking for back to what we do and do that safely and carefully and appropriately as we go along working with you. And so here we have the college reception. As I said, quite quiet at the moment, but um, there's all sorts of things that come on in reception. Um, some of my favourite days are the, the, the days that involve the various charity events that we do. We've done Christmas hampers and things like that. But also, for example, there's a little picture here. Yeah, Easter eggs. We, we collected Easter eggs uh, for charity and uh, there they are in reception. There's also various, all sorts of fundraising events that go on across the year. 
here's a photo I took earlier in the year. This is people, these people are waiting uh, to take their place, to make their speeches as part of the hustings for the uh, college council elections. So they're rather nervously waiting to go into the drama studio there and uh, say their piece. Right, we go across reception and up the stairs and we are in, uh, in many ways, the beating heart of the college. This is the concourse. Um, a lot of the time, concourse can be quite quiet, people just getting on with things, but it could also be one of the busiest parts of, of, of the college. And so, for example, you know, we've had bands play up there and karaoke and all sorts of other performance. We've done charity events and, you know, here's a bake sale and all sorts of things going on there. We've also had fashion shows. Um, we use it for results day. So students come in, celebrate their success and the press comes in and so on. So it's a sort of great part of the year for us to see students in and, and so pleased with their grades. We've also done things like this is um, people doing first aid training and resuscitation. It's also the site for the college radio station. And last but not least, the site of the principal's office as well. OK, so here's the building from another angle. Um, and what I'm going to do is just move gradually up the building towards art at the top there. You can see all those lovely uh, big windows that were built as an art department, you know, 100 years ago. Right. Let's have a look. So, for example, we've got science labs. There's there's chemistry, physics, biology. They've each got their own floor with a suite of labs on each floor devoted to each side. So there we go. We've certainly got science labs. Um, there's music and performance rooms and the drama department and so on um, all work within the ground floor of this site what else have we got there's the electronics lab and so lots of specialist facilities depending you know on which subjects you're doing what have we got here as well as specialist facilities clearly we've got a lot of general classrooms as well across the whole site and so for example there'll be people doing their law and their business and economics and so on uh, what we got here, well, the other thing we've got is the, this is the graphics workshop. Um, don't know if I should spend too long in here because I'll probably have to tell that guy off for bringing a bread roll into his lesson, but, but well, maybe we'll just leave him be. Now, these are really important spaces. You'll see these dotted all, all over the college, everywhere are student study spaces. And so the idea is that students use these, as you can see, there are places where you can use the computers or use plug in laptops and so on. Students use these spaces to make progress on their work around their scheduled lessons. Whenever I show people around, I always say, oh, as we go around, you'll see students and so they're quietly getting on with things. And I think students do that really effectively. I think it's an important part of, of stepping up into college life, moving towards something that's a bit more like a university type of study and, and, and taking control you know, of your own workload. Clearly, one of the most significant student study spaces we have is the library. We have an excellent, really friendly, really well run, well resourced library that students can use you know, for individual study, for research and so on. And the other thing, the thing you can't see in that slide is that we also, as part of that, that part of the college, we have the careers department. We have a full time careers department. It's there for students all week. They can drop in, they can get advice, and they organise all sorts of events. So that's a fantastic resource for us here in the, the middle of the site. One of the first departments I always show people around is the art department. Up here on the, sort of the top floor of the main building, we've got a big, really busy, vibrant, well resourced department covering all sorts of subjects. We've got dark rooms up there for photography, people up there doing sculpture, art history. Across the building, we've also got textiles and graphics and product design and all sorts of facilities for those for students to work in lessons, but also individually using the specialist equipment or in small groups. Right, where should we go now? We head across the top floor and we'll head towards science. Biology is on the top floor. As I said, there's a science on each floor and each of them has got a fully equipped range of, of, of laboratories. I tried to add up the laboratories in my head across the site. and there's, there's more than a dozen. And so um, there we go. Go and have a look at biology. We also be interesting to go and have a look at maths. Maths, I think, is a, is a great department in the way they, they have all, all the lessons going on around the outside along the corridor. And then the middle there, there's always a you know, really good sense of people quietly getting on with individual studies around their timetable. 
If we come down the other side of the building, we come back to the ground floor, we come to one of the two on-site college restaurants. And so a range of uh, hot and cold food served there every day. Um, you, you don't have to wear a denim jacket to use the, uh, the, the restaurant. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, there's no college uniform policy, so that's up to you. Right, what I've done now is come out of that south site building and we're moving down the site, down the hill towards uh, various other buildings on site. Well, as we look down the hill, there's some really interesting buildings down there. There's one on the left, one of the newest ones. That's called the Sidkeb Pavilion. And that's one of those places, I keep saying it, but where you can go and just quietly get on with study and so on. Uh, it's also the place to go to recharge your phone, I think. Um, if you have a look, it's got a living roof that was put there sort of in, in consultation with our eco society. Um, and, and it's part of a number of uh, environmental initiatives that go on you know, across the site. One of the interesting things to think about is just that area is called the knoll, just to the left of uh, the pavilion there. It's been called the knoll for years. And, and we do all sorts of things there. When the sun's out, it's a chance to maybe play some music or storm radio will come out or there'll be bands and so on. And so a little bit of a chance to enjoy the sunshine there. Over the right, as we look down the hill, we've got this very big imposing building uh, that many of you, I'm sure, will recognise. This is called Midsite, and uh, there are a lot of classrooms in here, all sorts of subjects, history, politics, philosophy, uh, English, all sorts of different classrooms there. So it's the other big significant teaching block for us. As part of the Midsite, we have the second of our, of our two student restaurants. This is called the Roman Bath Restaurant, and it's called that because it's built upon the archaeological remains of um, a, a rather smart Roman uh, villa, bathhouse kind of complex, uh, the, the, and the evidence of that was found as they were excavating the site. And so they put it all back really carefully. And then on top of that, there it is. We've got the Roman bath restaurant. In the centre of Midsite, we've got this huge multi-purpose sports hall, all sorts of things going on here. Obviously, you know, a wide range of individual sports and team sports and so on. Just off the side of it as well, with, there's a, a, a multi gym. So if you want to come along and, you know, whether you're doing sport or not, and you want to use the facilities, you want to use the gym, you're very welcome to. The other big thing we use it for is careers fairs. We don't really, in the same way as a lot of other centres, go out to careers fairs or higher education fairs. What we do is we bring them to us. And so, as you can see here, we have many, many people who visit us over the course of uh, the year to talk to students about moving forward, about progression. We have local employers, we have universities, we have literally hundreds of different people come in. And, and you know, that's an opportunity for our students to really think about how they're, they're going to move forward, which is you know, a bit of a shame, really, because it almost feels like as soon as people get to us, we're talking to them about how they're going to move forward onto the next stage. But, but the, you know, that's how, the, how it all works. As we move a bit further down the site, we come towards some of the more specialist facilities. So, for example, this is the IT block and there are a range of suites in there with all the specialist equipment that we need to deliver courses in, in computing and IT and so on. One of the other newer buildings we've got is the uh, Languages Centre, which is a really interesting building architecturally in terms of the way the rooms are shaped and coloured and so on. It's a really nice building to work in. Uh, languages are a big part of our provision and, and something we're very proud of. But there's all sorts of specialist classrooms in there um, for delivering the different languages, German, French, Spanish, Italian and so on. And, and it really is just an example of the model that we have across the college of, of being able to provide these all on one site, these specialist facilities for A-levels and, and for other courses we deliver. I think as we, as we get towards the end, one of the things that we, we're really proud of at college is that we've got everything on one site. You can do the, the huge, you know, one of the biggest range of available courses in the lab, but you can do it on that one site. But that doesn't mean that there's an awful lot that doesn't go on, you know, outside of college as well. What we've got here, we've got, we've got photos from field trips, uh, gigs here at the local arts centre, people entered into, you know, international, national, international events, um, awards ceremonies, uh, university visits, um, competitions, all sorts of things that people get involved in. And so it's not just about being on the site. Oh, well, that's the end of the tour. I hope that was helpful. Um, 
There's a lot to think about. It's a big site. There's a lot going on. It's a big step for everybody. I think in, in many ways this year, it's you know, it's a, it's a big step in all sorts of ways. And so, you know, it's something to think about. Um, I hope it's something to be excited about. Um, it, there are a lot of things going on on site. But I think the, the important thing to remember is that for everybody, it's a first day. Everybody's going to be new coming to college and we'll do it together. And also that even though there's a lot going on, you will at the heart of it, you will have your group, your personal tutor. There will be people there you can go to who will look after you, who will help you as you go forward into what hopefully will be a, you know, a really exciting stage in your life. Okay, thank you. See you soon. Bye.